Hi, I'm David Kaner for ExpertVillage.com. I'm going to talk about the violin fingerboard. The fingerboard and violin is usually made of the same wood as is used in the pegs and the chin rest and the tailpiece. It's considered good form to have them be a matched set. In this case, they're all ebony, a dark hardwood from tropical regions. Quite hard. Um, it's quite easy to work. Um, and it makes a really excellent surface for, make, for pressing strings against. That was a relatively ungrammatical statement, but, but suffice to say that, that I think that is the requirement for fingerboards, pegs, and tailpieces, that the material look good, feel good, be reasonably workable, and have a relatively long, useful life. Um, fingerboards become worn as a result of abrasion from fingers pressing down strings against, against the wood. And on this fingerboard, if the light is right, it might be possible to actually see the indications of some wear on the board. A violin technician knows how to level the fingerboard such that in any one region there are no irre irregularities which would potentially interfere with the vibrating of the string or add discomfort to holding a string down. But at the same time, the entire board has a very slight concavity, which is a little difficult to describe, but suffice to say that a completely straight fingerboard from end to end would, wouldn't produce ideal tones along its entire length. So a very subtle concavity is created by the technician, along with the arch which goes from one side of the fingerboard to the other, and roughly approximates the arch of the average bridge. And if you were to hold a bridge up next to the end of a fingerboard, you could actually see that the arches are, are pretty similar. 